Welcome back to the Cybermen, guys. Apologies, I've been away. You're going to have to deal with me for a couple of weeks, I'd say, doing only two videos a week or something. I've just got so much on my plate at the moment. I haven't had time to go to a locals in, I think, almost a month now. I really haven't been playing too much, which just sucks, and I'm missing it. But I'll get back very soon, I hope. But just keep an eye out. We've got a video today which has been asked for a couple of times on our Best of One battle last week. This is the red yellow baby deck profile so I'll post it there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the description for the video of the gameplay of this deck and let me know your thoughts. Uh, it definitely is a work in progress but I think it has a lot of potential. Cheers guys. Alrighty so looking at the red yellow baby there's a some gameplay in the description of this deck. Um, this deck's a work in progress so I'm not completely sure this is exactly how I want to build it but I'll talk about that as we go. So looking at the leader, this is the starter deck baby leader, um, baby Vegeta. He has an activate main to choose one card in your life, add it to your hand to switch him to active mode so he's, he gets to attack twice in a turn. You can also use that on your first turn to get some hand advantage if you're playing against something that's not so aggressive like a blue deck. Uh, when your life is at two or less, you can draw two cards, untap two, and flip the card over. He's got dual attack on the awaken side. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one card once per turn, just so you don't get the double. Something that I always do with this if I can is attack on the awaken turn, take myself down to two, uh, sorry, attack on the awaken turn while I'm at three, take a life from him, restand, and then flip over, and then I get two more attacks with leader. That just depends on how the game's going though, because you want to use your life as a resource for other cards in this deck. Um, I'll just get out of the way the kind of staples um, first. So we have four of the Whis Celestial Moderator Super Combo. This is a red-yellow Super Combo. When you combo with it, you neg one of your opponent's battle cards by 10. Um, it's actually really good in this deck because you're negging a lot and it helps in this meta to get rid of some pesky cards like against Red Bardock You can get rid of their Bardock's crew before they get bond and things like that But at the same time you have so many ways to arrival in this you don't necessarily need to run this So I could run this at 2-2 maybe uh, and that might be a decent split with another super combo, but I'll leave that up to you um, Run four of Whis the spectator. This is the Check land, um, or AKA energy exhaust negation card. So you first turn you generally charge a multicolor in rest mode, uh, and then the second turn you have this. Uh, works really well. You do filter your deck so much. Even I think this is the most deck filtering that you kind of get in any deck. Now in your first hand you want to be grabbing this guy. This is the engine to your deck, Doctor Mew, the mastermind. So this guy, when you have a multicolor card in energy, you can play him for free. I really, the thing that drew me to the deck in the first place is the fact that you can play a multicolor card in rest mode, uh, in energy, and then be able to play a card anyway, because it really feels bad playing a multicolor card turn one in the card format, but this allows you to use that one energy by playing him. So when you play him for free, uh, he goes through your deck and plays this card, Baby Evil Origins. So he plays this from your deck. You want to make sure you don't get this in your opening hand and try and keep them in your deck. You need this in your opening hand. Um, so usually in your opening hand, the main two things you want is a multicolor to charge and this guy. Um, so this comes out. Uh, when you play him, you get to draw three and drop two. So you're really filtering. That's getting four cards out of your deck. Um, your deck becomes very, very small. So you have to watch out for things like Cool Mill, although this is a very quick deck so you don't tend to worry too much. Uh, the important thing to know about these is you, they essentially have unique. Uh, you can only have one on the field at any time, and also you can only play them once a turn. So once you play this, you play this, you can't play them again until your next turn. All right, next up is our other super important piece. So you need to have a one of these pretty early, generally on turn two. Um, super baby one, all consuming terror. He's we don't worry about the Union Absorb, we just worry about the fact that he has Barrier, he has Arrival. So you Arrival him for one yellow. Now what's crazy about this deck, on top of this allowing you to not worry about charging a multicolor and rest, this is a Brit and a yellow card that you get out for free. And then you can Arrival them with this. That's why I'm saying that the Super Combo isn't that much needed. Um, you know, you tend to use this more for getting out of combos, uh, getting out of attacks and negging your opponent. 
but these are perfect. So you've got them on the field, turn two, you come with them, arrival this guy. So he comes in, he doesn't do anything, he's just got barrier. When you play him, I run two of the Baby Janemba Hatred in Evil personified. This is a champ pack card. Um, when this card, when you play a red yellow baby, you can play this card for free from your hand uh, if he's not in play already because he's got unique. Uh, when he's played, you can look up to the top seven cards in in your deck and add up to two cards with offering skills among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Um, so if you added two, you have to drop a card. If you added one, you don't. So what you do is you play this guy. The main thing you're searching off this, there's two main um, kind of searches, but what I'm usually searching for, because Baby's so searchable in this deck, I'm searching for Heartfelt Play with this guy. But you can also search for the seven drop Baby, which we'll look at later. So you play him, you play him, and then you got your classic Super Baby 1 Parasitic Menace. Play four of this guy. He is a free evolve on top of the four drop that arrivals in. When he comes in, he negs one of your opponent's battle cards 5k, and then you draw a card. Uh, he also allows you to choose one baby card with an energy cost of six from your hand and play it on top of this card for one energy. So you're playing this guy for one. We run two of these. Epochal Judge, Great Ape Baby. So this guy, everybody who's been around for a while knows this card. If, you're, if you don't know it, it's extremely powerful. The only reason it's not played as much anymore is because there's no barrier, so it's kind of squishy and no deflect. But you're playing him for one. Um, when he attacks, he's a triple striker. When he attacks, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and neg it by 20k and you draw one card. And that skill also activates when your opponent plays a card as well. So on their turn, if they play a card once per turn, you can neg that card or another card on their board by 20k. It's very, very good to get out early against decks that don't have early removal and your opponent kind of can't play things without them getting popped. Uh, it just means that your opponent usually has to play a one drop um, kind of cantrip or something to get this skill out of the way before they do anything. So this is the uh, seven drop baby that I spoke about, run that at three. Um, the babies don't need to be very high, you know, you want this one for sure, but these ones are very searchable, I'll show you later. So you obviously draw a lot and then there's a search searcher as well, so you don't need to have four of them. Um, this guy evolves for one red, one yellow on a baby with an energy cost of five or more. Now, what I usually do is I actually go on to turn three, play this, play this, and then play that, and then attack, and you can play this on top, evolve this on top of here. Even if he's in rest mode, it's fine, because the main thing you want to do with this guy, he has offering, obviously, but also double strike. This guy has triple strike, so he's better to attack with. And then you can activate main, take a one card from your life and add it to your hand to neg your opponent's leader by 5k for the turn. It's not a once per turn. So usually I try to stay on higher life if I know I'm getting this play, get him out and then take my life up to one or two, neg my opponent's leader by however much. You need to be careful with floodgates when you're doing that because it leaves you open next turn, obviously. Uh, and then you can go in, even with these guys, like even with little cards like 1Ks, 4Ks, you can start going in and pressuring life, which is really cool. So he evolves on top of this. He can also evolve on top of the five drop if you prefer. Now I'll run two of the Baby Vengeful Blow. I didn't used to run this, but there's so much removal now that I need to run this. Uh, it has helped me in some games lately. So what happens is when one of your um, baby card with an original power of 30,000, so either of these two is KO'd by, or removed by skill, you can play this card from your hand for free. So it just helps, especially when um, I've had happen where I attack with this, then my opponent uses Heron's Lineage to steal it. I can play this guy out, and then I can, what he does is he absorbs a Vegeta GT from your drop, which a lot of these cards are, and then he lets you play another 30k from your hand on top. So it just lets you get these out. So if your opponent uses Heron's Lineage, they think they're free, you play another one. Very, very strong. And I have the Happy Holidays version because it's nice and pretty. Uh, I run two Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku a Heartfelt Plea. Um, obviously this is an awesome card in this deck. Usually you're going in, you're going in with this, 
evolve into this, then you awaken. You can play this guy off him. Your opponent's on like zero power on their leader. It's so powerful. It has a uh, offering, obviously. And then when you awaken, you can play him and you can play this because you are going down to two life. So Pan comes in, she restands this guy, she restands this guy. Um, she restands a lot of your cards in the worst case. I have used her to restand one of these before and won the game with it. She can even restand the baby. <laughs> But you want to be using her to restand Heartfelt Play or the Grade 8 Baby. So I run three of her. I run two Heartfelts and three Pans because Heartfelt is searchable in this and Pan isn't. Heartfelt is searchable with this guy. I run one of the starter deck Super Baby 1 the Conqueror. This is a decent card but it's not a must have. If your opponent takes two or more damage during the turn you can play this card from your hand for free. Just another 15k hit. And it's usually good when you do do the activate main to nick your opponent's leader because things like this when your leader's at um, your opponent's leader's at 0k, this is a 30k beater. I run one Beerus, no holds barred. Um, this card I don't use very often. I tend to go very aggressive and don't have the energy for this card most of the time. But I run it at one in case I need to stall a bit. You don't want to run too many because you already run so many multicolor cards that you've got a lot of 10k combo. Um, which again, it doesn't seem to matter too much most of the time because you've got so much neg uh, and you go so aggro. But this guy comes in arrival for one red, one yellow, and either KOs an opponent's battle card with an energy cost of 30 with 30k power or less, or you may choose one of your opponent's battle cards or leader in rest mode and. Ignoring barrier and that card can't switch to active mode on their next turn So that can be useful. My last battle card in this is one of Super Saiyan 4 Bardock fighting against fate This card obviously is an amazing finisher Especially if your opponent's leader is again on like zero or minus 5k which happens very often um, This guy is a 25k dual attacker and it's just usually extra pressure the fun thing about this is that I generally have this in my hand by my last turn and a lot of the time, or most of the time, I don't even have to use it because of how much pressure this deck puts on. But if you do, you have it, which is awesome. Now let's get into the extra cards. I run two of Blutz Wave Generator. This is a searcher for this deck. It's a free searcher if you find something. So you tap one yellow. Uh, you look at the top five for a baby, which most of your deck is baby, uh, barely ever don't find anything. Uh, and then it, if you do find a card, you untap one yellow energy. So it's just a free searcher, which is amazing. And that helps you, you wanna use those early to get the likes of these guys and get the right cards in hand. Time magic times two. So I'm not sold on what negates I use. There's a lot of negates in here and I feel like I probably have too many, but they're all useful in different situations. Time Magic, obviously sparking. You tap out a lot with this deck and you get sparking very easily. Turn one, you usually have at least two cards in the drop and then you just keep cycling these guys to fill your drop up. Um, it's also good against dual attackers and things like that. I run one Nimbus. Um, you don't get energy on defense very often. So I only run one of these and I usually use it on turn two to stall out super aggro decks um, until my turn three where I can kill. I run three Freezer's Army Reinforcements. This is the main new card that I've added to this deck since playing it a long time ago. As you can see, most of the deck is old, like from set eight kind of thing. Um, set nine, I believe. Is it set eight or set nine? Set eight. Uh, and this card kind of makes this deck a lot better because you negate without using energy, which you don't have, and also it gives you a blocker, and it helps you get your life down as well in case you don't find him. Um, I really love this. I had it at two, I think I had it at one, then I had it put it at two, now I have it at three, because that's the main negate I use. And finally, I use Heroine's Lineage. I was looking at this and I'm like, what SCR can I use for this deck? I used to have the baby Janemba SCR in it, but it just, you never use it. I've never been at five energy with this deck because you either kill them on like three energy or you lose. Um, so this one works really well. You can leave one energy open if you know your opponent's probably gonna go in with something with an energy cost of seven or less and steal it, very nice. You can also use it to steal things like blockers um, and stuff like that when you're going for game. Very, very strong.
and that's the deck guys uh again it's still a work in progress i think it does have potential i feel like i'm going to play this the next time i play competitive i haven't played competitive in a little while because i've been super busy but it's definitely got potential especially against the current meta with how much neg it has so thanks for watching guys uh we'll be back soon with some best of one battles cheers Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting, guys. If you want to help support further, jump in the link in the description below to palmsoffgaming.com.au. Look for your grading needs, for your folders, for your binders, and put the code CYBERMAN in, in the checkout. It helps me out. It helps you out. You'll get 10% off. Really, really awesome. Thanks for watching again, guys, and enjoy.